Hello students, this is Shruti Srivastav, Faculty of Computer in Mount Litra Z School, Chasi. Today, we are going to discuss Chapter Number 3, which is Synthesis of Information and Uses of Computer. So, let's begin the chapter. In this chapter, Tejas and Jyoti have collected information about various uses of a computer. While gathering information, they found out there are many types of computers. They also came to know that there are some applications such as email which need internet, while others such as MS Paint can be used without internet. On the other hand, there are some applications which are used to control devices such as washing machines, while some are used for special purpose such as weather forecasting. So based on these relationships, they have drawn a mind map and have come up with four categories. So here you can see the four categories on the basis of uses of a computer. That is standalone applications, internet applications, embedded applications and special purpose applications. So there are four types of applications under uses of computer. Let's have a look on standalone applications. The applications and programs that can be installed and used without a network connection are called standalone applications. Some of the standalone applications can be downloaded from the internet but do not require an internet connection to run. Now you can see some uses of standalone applications in different fields such as it can be used for office purpose, it acts as educational software, it also helps in multimedia building and it also helps in playing games. Next is some examples of standalone applications such as Scratch which is a programming application and TuxMath which is a educational application which runs without internet. Now here you can see some categories of applications, standalone applications like office application in which it helps in writing documents, doing calculations and preparing presentations like LibreOffice and multimedia application like it helps in drawing and painting, listening to music, composing music, editing photos and videos. Example is Audacity and AvidiMax. Programming application. It helps in writing programs using software like Scratch or Alice. Then educational games. It helps in practicing and testing of knowledge in different subjects like Cambridge, TuxMath, Kid Geography are educational games which are based on different different subjects. And these are standalone applications. Now, what are internet applications? Applications which require internet connectivity are called internet connections. Some internet applications, such as search engine, can be assessed through a browser. Other applications, like video conferencing, require the related software to be downloaded and installed on the computer or on mobile devices. Some internet applications, such as those involving online transactions require registration before they can be used. Like if you are transacting with the help of IRCTC, then you need to in install that software first and get registered through it. Here are some uses of internet applications in different fields. Like it can be used for communication purpose, for ticket booking, for online shopping also and for browsing purposes. Now let's have a look on some examples of internet applications such as Skype which is a video calling app, then Google which is a search engine, next is IRCTC which is a railway ticket booking website and the next one is Google Earth which helps in exploring the world. Then YouTube which helps in watching, uploading and downloading of videos. Next we'll have a look on various categories of internet application and their purposes. So the first purpose of internet application is communication. And the nature of use is sending email, instant messaging with the help of various applications such as Gmail, Skype. The next purpose is browsing. Browsing means searching for information, reading newspaper, exploring the world and galaxies through various search engines like Google and transactions like booking tickets with the help of IRCTC and so on. The next is educational purpose that is reading ebooks, 
viewing animation and ed educational videos using online editable maps with the help of various applications such as Google Earth, Gutenberg.org, Wikimapia, etc. And for entertainment purpose, that is watching movies, playing games and listening to music with the help of application called YouTube. Let's have a look on types of internet connections. So there are two ways to connect to the internet. First is wired, in which internet connection can be have through a cable which is connected to a router. And the next one is wireless, in which there is a USB device in which a SIM can be put and it can have internet connection. An internet connection is similar to a telephone or mobile connection. One has to subscribe and pay bills for using it. In this image, you can see a picture of a router, which is an example of a wired internet connection. And the next one is USB device, which is an example of wireless internet connection, in which a SIM can be put inside. Thanks for watching the video. Rest of the applications we are going to discuss in our next lecture.